Hello everyone, welcome back to Ocean Spray's Big Apple Bog and Rockefeller Center. To all of you watching at home, thank you for coming back. I hope you enjoyed our first segment on cranberry cocktails. And the fun's not going to stop, trust me. Um, look where we are, it can't stop. But anyway, um, I wanted to talk to you all about what we're doing here today. And we want to talk about the real health benefits of the cranberry because, I mean, I think we've all heard about how healthy cranberries are for you. So, I mean, what better place to do that than in a cranberry bog, right, Connie? I would agree. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Oh, well, I'm so glad. I mean, we really think it's spectacular, too. Oh, I mean... Yes. You know, how exceptional is the cranberry? It does all these things for you, not only makes a wonderful cocktail, but also does so many wonderful things for your body. Um, you know, from the bold, crisp taste to the well-documented health benefits. Right. So, you know, I'm hoping you can help us elaborate on that a little bit. Well, and I think that's what's exciting is when we look at the cranberry, it really does possess a significant amount of health benefits, nutritional benefits. And in fact, for a lot of Americans, it could be the way to meet their daily fruit requirements. So it's really pretty exciting. Right, and you don't really think about that. You don't really think about, you, know, you think of about your serving of fruit, and we're all asked to amp that up. Um, but really, you know, here you have this great beverage with so many nutrients. So, you know what? I went up the street to, to Times Square today because I really wanted to get a sense of what people thought about the cranberry. And we went there with a camera and we talked to some people and thought, what, what do you think about the taste? What do you think about cranberry health? So let's take a peek at that and see what people had to say. So our family drinks cranberry juice. Uh, we love the different flavors like cran apple and cran grape. Uh, I do on occasion drink cranberry juice. Yeah, I, uh, I think it tastes good and it's, it's very refreshing. I drink cranberry juice because it's healthy and it tastes good. I like the taste and uh, it's refreshing to drink. I drink cranberry juice because I work in the hospital and I know the importance of cranberry juice. Fresh cranberry tastes a little sweet and tart at the same time. The taste of a fresh cranberry can be a little sour sometimes, but yeah, the juice is sweeter. I drink cranberry juice because I like the tart and sweet flavor of it, and I also like it mixed with my uh, vodka and lime. <laughs> I know that they're good for your um, bladder, so if you have like a urinary tract infection, I know that uh, people drink cranberry juice for that, and I have as well. When my mom had kidney stones, something that doctors told her to drink was a lot of cranberry juice for the antioxidants in them. I think the health benefits of cranberries is keeping your immune system strong. Something that grows out of the ground so it has to be good for you. I think cranberries have a lot of antioxidants uh, so that's good for us. I plan on giving uh, my kids cranberry juice because they love it and um, it's one of their favorite juices and it's, it's, it's healthy for them. Wow that was so amazing you know to really hear what people have to say it seems they know really about how cranberries not only taste good but they're really good for you and I have someone here today this is Connie Dickman who is a registered dietitian and former president of the American Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics so we have someone that's fully qualified to tell us all about cranberry health so let's go with that Connie I heard a lot in the video about people talking about antioxidants in cranberry what what antioxidants do cranberries possess well, cranberries contain the antioxidants in the polyphenol family. They're called something really long. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Proanthocyanidins. But guess what? Just think of them as packs. Oh, that's really easier. easy to remember. Great. <laughs> and you know what's really important about these these antioxidants is there's a lot of good scientific evidence that shows a connection between that antioxidant and prevention of cardiovascular disease and some real heart health benefits. And that clearly is one plus that we should add to the list of why you want cranberries in your eating plan. Yeah, I mean, and you know, it, it, people talk about immunity. Like, I never right. thought of the cranberry to have immunity benefits. What's in a cranberry juice or, or a product that gives you that benefit? Well, it's, the, it's that old vitamin C thing that you think about probably in, in one particular fruit or, as opposed to it is in many cranberry juices, cranberry drinks, and vitamin C is definitely connected to that improvement in your immune health. So again, now we've got two pluses. We've got antioxidants and we've got vitamin C plus. Right. Um, you know, and, and it's funny because I have to think that a lot of we women have heard over the years, the urinary tract health benefits. Yep. And I got to say, you know, 
What is it about that? Is that really a fact or is that folklore? No, there's, there's real fact here. When you look at the scientific evidence as it relates to the cranberry, those packs that we talked about a minute ago, they can really help prevent, alleviate, calm, whatever word you like to right. use in there, the urinary tract infection. What we think is happening basically is, you know, there's bacteria that causes the infection. Right it holds on to the sides of your bladder and that's what causes the infection. Oh, the antioxidant I, yeah. prevents it from holding on. So it wow. flushes the bacteria out. Wow. Now very obviously, if, if you think you've got a UTI, you know, call your doctor. Well, but if you're looking for a great fruit, some positive health benefits, that cranberry juice may have an added one in terms of prevention of UTIs. So, I mean, we really feel pretty safe and protected amongst all these cranberries then. <laughs> <laughs> it's keeping us cleansed and purified and we love it, well, right? I, I think you actually have to get it in the mouth to get some of those benefits. Right. But at the same time, this is pretty cool. Great. Um, you know, and, and people always talk about the taste of cranberry. You know, it's, it's kind of tart and, you know, it has to be sweetened and, yeah. you know, really, does that do anything? Yeah, and that's, you know, that's always the question that comes up is, well, wait, it's got added sugar. But here's what's important. Number one, when you taste a cranberry, and if, no, if people haven't tasted one in its fresh state, I suggest they try it. Uh, and you'll learn very quickly. You will know why <laughs> we sweeten cranberries. You will know that there is very little, if any, sugar for sweetness in that cranberry. So it requires that added sugar to make it edible. And when you compare it sugar-wise to other fruits, yeah. it does not have any more sugar than these other fruits. And that's pretty amazing because a lot of people don't know that pieces of fruit have sugar in them. They have natural right. sugar. So, and you I know, think that's such an important message. We get very focused on added sugar right. when, in fact, sugar occurs naturally in fruits and when, except that cranberry. Yes. And you know, the other thing I just thought of about that tartness, right. that's its antioxidant taste. Right, so that's, that's the benefit. Positive. That's how you know that's you're exactly getting it. Right. right. Well, I'll tell you, I mean, you know, cranberry health is uh, certainly a hot topic. Um, I have uh, a few blogger friends that had some questions for you. Is that okay? Oh yeah, that'd be fun. All right, well, we have Cara Lyons from carascraving.com and she had a question about cranberry health. Let's take a look. Hi Connie, I was wondering what are the most significant antioxidants in cranberries and what health benefits do they give us? So Kara had a question about really what is it in cranberry that really helps? Like what's the chief uh, health benefit to cranberry? And I don't know if it's, is it antioxidants? Is it anti-adhesion? What is it? It's those packs. Number one, you know, we can see how they play a role in terms of urinary tract health. But what we're learning in science is these phytonutrients, of which PACs are one example, are really doing a lot of things for health. As I mentioned earlier, there might be cardiovascular benefits. There's the UTI benefits. There's the immunity. There, so it's a growing body of evidence. So you want to eat the plant, the cranberry, right, right. for that benefit. Great. And you know, we have one more question. We have a question from Sarah DeSalt from fit.com. And she actually has some questions for us as well in terms of, I believe it's taste. Let's look at Skype question right now. Hi Connie, so I know that cranberry juice has a lot of health benefits, but it also can be high in calories. So my question for you is, how much is an adequate amount to actually get the nutritional benefits from cranberry juice? So Sarah's question was more in terms of, you know, we all go through this battle, you know, um, it, all things in moderation, so to speak. Yeah. So we, we hear a, a lot about calories versus, you know, nutrient dense uh, juices and things. So really, I mean, how much cranberry should you have in your diet? You know, if you're drinking this for a benefit, what's safe to have and what's not? When you look at intake, a cup of cranberry juice, half a cup of fresh, fourth a cup of dry, they all provide the same phytonutrient content and they're all good additions in terms of a healthful eating plan. You know, current guidance is two fruit servings for most of us per day. Right, right. And so those would be good examples for inclusion. And it is the value component, Sharon. You are so right on. Don't just dwell on calories. Look at nutritional value or nutrition density, if you like that term better. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we, when we think about that, we, we always think about cutting our, our sugar intake and we think about cutting our calories. But I know even with nuts and things of that sort, it's like, well, this is, you know, this has fat, but it's a good fat. Right. Or it's, you know, so that's kind of a way to think about it, I would imagine. It, it really, as a registered dietitian, the message I really want to get across is, sure, calories count, but make them count. In other words, get the nutrition so that you're putting in your body what you need to be your best, right. and guess what? Then the calories will work. That's, that's great information to have. I mean, we have so much information to share with you all. Um, if you go to cranberryhealth.com, you'll find a lot of this information and also on oceanspray.com. You know, it's all about keeping a balanced diet. You know, the cranberry is all about whole body health. You heard Connie talk about urinary tract health and cardiovascular health and, and really vitamin C. So, you know, that's what makes this cranberry so unique. It's a and great little package. And, and so exceptional. That's right. Um, so, I, I, Connie, thank you. I can't thank you enough because you have all this wonderful information. And thank you so much for coming out and sharing this with everyone here. No, I'm delighted. This is great fun. I mean, is this the place to do this oh, again or what? It's, just, it's, <laughs> it's such a beautiful example of the, the beauty of the cranberry. And I think you're right. We've shared the nutrition. Hopefully people can enjoy it. Great. Thank you so much, Connie. Thanks. I really enjoyed having you. Thanks, Sharon. And thank you for everybody tuning in. Come back at 3 o'clock because we're going to talk about where it all comes from and where it all begins, and that's at the bog. So if you're in New York City, come on down by the bog and come visit. If not, visit us on our Facebook page or Ustream.com and check us out for the next segment. Thank you all again.